Yo, I just put my headphones on and they were cold as f Let me play this. Yo, what's good? Welcome back for another video. My name is Casey and today I'm going to be showing you different ways of adding your sounds to your mixer. I'm also going to be showing you some very important and useful shortcuts that you're going to need when using FL Studio. With that said, let's get started. So, there are quite a few ways you can add your stuff to the mixer. As you can see, my mixer is empty. Apart from this, this I'm going to remove because I don't need it. You can do the same too because this is there so that you do not blow up any of your earphones or your speakers. So, <laughs> you might want to keep that there. Okay, anyway. So, one way you can you can add your sounds to the mixer is literally by doing this. I'm going to keep my mixer up here. Yeah? yeah, here's my mixer. So, you can just do this. You can scroll. You can click and drag. And you can do this same thing right there it's labeled track right there and there's there's no value in there and you can do that and it'll be, it'll be on insert one as is labeled there and it'll be labeled track one over there now that is one way of doing it another way of doing it is you can open and you can use a shortcut Control l and it'll be on the mixer and then the channel that is on will be renamed to whatever it is named over there and if you don't want to, if you if you think you've made a mistake, you can right click on here and then you can go down here to reset select tracks to default. That will that will remove that sound and it will put the track back to the way it was. Now that was a mouthful. That's what she said. <laughs> Another way that you can add all your sounds to the mixer at once is you click on one that's already um highlighted so like that. You can even go to the middle one there. Sorry, light highlighted. So you highlight them all. Make sure that there's nothing on there. You highlight them all then you click on one of the tracks here it can be this one or this one but yeah because my ocd i like everything being here from the beginning and then you will use a shortcut so you're holding control shift and l if you are on mac it will be control option and l control option l there you go now you've got all your sounds in the order that it is on the, on the ch channel that it'll be in the same order in the mixer so there you go those are your methods of adding your, st your sounds to your mixer okay now that is that now let's get to the shortcuts so the shortcut that you'll be using the most is definitely copy and paste and the way you do that is control c to copy and control v to paste control v to paste now to cut is control x and then you can also paste that again because you cut it and now to duplicate and have a clip um to have a snap to the end of your midi that is control b and now you've duplicated the whole pattern okay now so to resize and to do what i'm doing right now you're holding control and you scroll to move around like this you hold in the middle mouse button to duplicate on you on the arrangements panel you hold shift and you left click to duplicate Listen properly. Duplicate. To duplicate. <laughs> I'm pulling the chain here right now. And similar with within the piano roll, copy, paste with Control V. And to snap to the end of the pattern, Control B to create a new version of this project. Control N to select or Control A um, to save. Control C. Oh, there are, so, are some other very important shortcuts that you might use. So. If you want to make your thing strum, if you want to make a strum, it'll be Alt S. And, and you see how it's changed. Take note of what I've done. I've selected, by the way, selecting is Control Left Clicking, Left Clicking. And if you want to select, say, say you want you want to select this one, but you don't want to select the others around it, so you will select that. Then you're holding Shift, then you click on it, and you got that, and you got that, and you got that. Easy things, okay? Now, what is I going on about just now? I forgot what I was going on about. Oh yeah. To be getting strum, Alt S. You hear that? Almost like almost humanizing the, the, the MIDI. And an easy way of making hires. Let me just duplicate this. Oh, by the way, I saw one of you commented on my last video and you asked what was these um what was the, the, the key signature that I used for, for that? What is it that I made? I forgot what I, what I made. Oh yeah, the chief gift I made. What is the key signature that I made? Um I think it was B flat major. So it was B flat major. Yeah. Okay, back to this video. So an easy way to make hi hats is you can put down your body right there, stretch that all the way over, and then you press Alt, Alt U, and then you got this piano roll chopper. Now you can choose how many times you want it to be chopped. So you got you can have this. Let me put on the 
uh, snare just so you can hear what it's doing. That's crazy. Yeah, you can go ham with it. Uh, let me go back to the, this chord progression. So you see this, this is not humanized. If you play this on, on with a MIDI controller, these values will not be all level. So to make it more humanized, you will press Alt R and that's called the, ran the randomizing. And now as you can see, it's randomized and you can do that with everything. You can do that with the panning, with the release and to reset it, you just middle mouse button click. And I don't know what these do. I don't know what these do. Let me turn this down a bit because it's clipping. So to do what I just did now, no, was control, control A, and then you hold, holding Alt, and then you scroll to do that. And if you want to reset it, you're holding Alt, Alt click, and you just slide your mouse across to reset it to the default value. And if you got this a red thing here, and you want to remove it, just control and click. Control left click on the to remove it. Okay, I've rushed through this. Oh yeah, I was still busy with the randomizer. So you got a randomizer right here. Yeah, now it's more humanized. Hear yeah, the difference. There's definitely a difference. Now because this is only FL plugins plugins. Does it only work with, with, with FL stock, stock plugins? So say now you, you wanna get Spitfire or you wanna get Nexus. This won't this won't work because it's a third party plugin. That makes sense. So these um controls over here only work with FL plug plugins, but they will work also with indie. Say you done a, a, a sound pack, it'll work with indie sound pack. So okay, I think I've got everything. Um another thing with the hi hats, just open that. And you can press 2 and then you'll have that, light, that, that highlighted because these that's just shortcuts for these values over here oh yeah you can also do copy and paste here, right here copy paste Control x to cut or delete there's more here actually so let's say you got your muddy club your muddy um data you got something like this and you want to just this all the way what you do is you click no you don't click anything you press Control l and then it'll stretch to the next MIDI data but then this is a mistake that you have to go manually and then stretch that unfortunately you'll have to do that and to go back to undo what you've just done is control z i can't believe i forget i've forgotten that control z is also undone and redone so you would want to undo completely or like more than undo <laughs> you will have to control alt z so control alt z there we go back to normal and you go sign it quickly so as you can see this is not on the grid pro properly now the way to get that on the grid without moving everything one by one just press alt q the magic tool this unfortunately isn't where you would want to be like or where i would want to be so you would have to stay that but it is on the grid oh there you have it i don't know a lot of a lot of shortcuts but these shortcuts that i show you are shortcuts that you will definitely need and are very important so that's the video done. The next video will be, or it'll probably be that El, that El Chapo thing. Uh, one of you has asked for in this comments. <laughs> well, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. If you've learned anything, make sure to give it a subscribe because you will learn way more in the, in, the, in the coming episodes. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.